everybody. All right, hang on. Let me get my camera fixed. Sorry about that. <laughs> Scott laughs at me. <coughs> All right, so this is a weird setup. Sorry, guys. I am <laughs> laid up in the bed with my AS, but um, we are going to do this live no matter what. As promised so as I was kind of prepping and planning for this week and trying to figure out really how to be more productive in my day-to-day -day because I am hey guys I am really struggling with productivity and a lot of that is because I just can't couldn't figure out where my days went so I was working off of a happy planner dashboard layout and that layout looked something like this it has um, you know errands things to buy calls bills to pay and things to focus on and then I would put things over here being the um, you know just what I was doing this specific day and I was having a really 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 difficult time trying to get things done and I was being really down on myself so I decided to just kind of do a, a layout in oh, hang on I can't find the other page of it doop, 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 doop. hang on y'all I'm telling you what I'm on struggle bus today okay here we go so I decided to like do a blank layout of just on my computer like time Okay, I wanted to see, like, since we've moved to the RV, our, my commute time for the school run has, is gone crazy. So, I did this just blank layout, and I got fun with it, and before I did anything else, I just wrote down the times that I am in school run, and I came up with just this little bitty amount that I actually have available to plan in my day. And it was like this huge aha moment of, it's not that I'm not getting stuff done, it's that I've got too much, try, I'm trying to cram too much in the little bit of time that I have available without kids. So, I went and changed planners. Okay, I'll show you, I'll tell you where I got this, Heather. I got it, um, I got this at Joann's. So, I went to Joann's, um, this weekend and... They don't make the Happy Planner um, schedule, you know, the big one anymore. They make this in the, the classic size, but I like my big size planner mainly because I have really stinky handwriting and the smaller it is, the harder it is for me to read. So I haven't put anything in here for my planner this week. I just kind of wanted to show you what I've done so far and then we're going to plan the rest of it together. So the very first thing I did is I took a black pen and definitely grab a couple of different color pens when you're planning because it really does help um, help you kind of see. Oh, hey, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Schnooks. That's my dad. That's what he always, always called me. Okay, so anyway, um, basically, I took my black pen and I went through and I marked all of the girls' school runs. I am in the car. I am not kidding. Oh, my budget one. I'm putting those on. I swear, I know I keep saying I'm putting them on Etsy this week, but I really am putting them on Etsy this week. Happy birthday, Tammy. Bye, but my baby's birthday's tomorrow. Um, so anyway, I took a black pen and I just put in the school runs. And the days that Mary Claire is in school, I am I'm in the car almost four hours a day. And it's brutal. Because by the time I leave here and then take the girls to two different schools and then get back here I have literally you know just the smallest amount of time to plan so how I've decided to do things is my um, if those of you that don't know um, those of you that don't know I have an autoimmune disease and my body doesn't allow me to do things like I used to. Um, I used to be able to do errands all in one day, kind of like the fly lady does where you had an errand day, but I physically can't do that anymore. Um, it just won't, I will tell her, Tammy, thank you. It won't, um, 
like for instance I did errands all day on Friday trying to get ready for Mary Claire's birthday tomorrow and I've pretty much landed myself in a big big problem today and I'm gonna be spending my research and writing day um, in the bed tomorrow so Mondays are my research and writing day so there's a couple things that I want to do I told you that my housework ducks are like running around in circles like with party hats on I'm the worst housekeeper ever so I wanted to add about 15 minutes of chores to each of my days that I don't have the kids so it's the very very first thing I do it's kind of my transition time between um, coming home with the kids or coming home from dropping the kids off and getting into my work day because the three days that I don't have any kids at home those are my work days um, so I've got my chore stickers right here and these are just happy planner stickers oh I'll show you these are just like stickers and I went a little nuts with the stickers but you know gotta have some kind of a hobby right so I found these and it's just a few stickers it's the mom planner it's the productivity planner um, I had to have these they have French Bulldog stickers in here hang on oh my camera decided to anyway and then this is the budget pack stickers as well sorry about the bouncing guys I had to touch my my camera for a minute and then this is just a whole bunch of bright stickers that I found to match my new planner and part of it is because if I didn't have the stickers and stuff in place I would try to make these designs on my own and then it would take me forever and I would never get anything done so I wanted to add some chores in and I'm trying to add one new habit every week so my last habit that I added in the last two weeks I actually have been doing really well and that is doing one load of laundry every single day and I've really been doing really well with it. I've come up with a system that works for me I start the laundry during the day flip it once throw it on the bed when it's dry and right before I go to bed I just sort the laundry out and put, put mine away Scott's put his away Scott puts his away and then the girls I just take their basket to their room and they put theirs away in the morning so that is working really well and I think I've pretty much got that habit down so now the habit that I want to add next is the day dishes so we now have to wash all of our dishes by hand which totally stinks so this is a little habit tracker sticker that was in this sticker book and so now I'm going to work on adding the habit of doing one load of dishes, one sink load of dishes during the day because pretty much, especially if I'm cooking breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we have two if not three loads of dishes that we need to do in a day. So that's my new habit for this week and I'll let y'all know on our next planning video how I ended up. Y'all, I'm not keeping up very well with the comments. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't, I can't really see them because I'm looking at my, my book. Um, so what I want to start focusing on is having one eat your elephant task. And if you've never heard of the eat your elephant task, it is the one thing that you absolutely must get done. So I am like throwing to-do lists out the window. So this is like an example of what I was doing in my old planner. And I would have these lists and it, they would just be huge. And I would feel horrible for not getting this stuff done because I just thought I had more time than I did. So now I realize I have enough time in my, a little bit of time that I have without kids to really get one major eat the elephant task done. And if I can get one major task done in that time that I have without children, I, I'm gonna view that as a success. So Mondays, Scott is off work. So this is my research and writing day for my channel. So. Basically, I do, I've got a, a series of videos that I'm working on right now that is requiring a good bit of research um, for um, statistics on mental health and budgeting and things like that. So that's going to be my research and writing day. So Scott wants to sleep late tomorrow, so I'll probably start work about 930 and then we'll do research and writing all day. This is the day that I kind of plan out my videos and kind of get everything done. Now, normally I get to work a full day, but like I said, tomorrow is Mary Claire's birthday dinner. Scott's going to pick up the groceries. He is taking over the grocery shopping for me because I'm physically just, 
We still want to save money by going to Aldi, but physically I'm having a lot of trouble doing long grocery trips and things like that right now. So that's going to be my research and writing day on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are usually filming and editing days for me. Thursday, though, my youngest is going to my dad's house, so I've got to drive all day that day, um, take her to my dad's house, and then home, which he's going to have her all weekend at a hot air balloon rally, which is awesome. Y'all, my dad's a hot air balloon pilot. How cool is that? And um, so we're anyway, we're going to get, so I'll lose my Thursday. The one eat your elephant task that I have got to get done that is driving Scott completely batty is I've got to finish the curtains. Scott is so ready for me to get all of my sewing stuff out of the RV because we're all tripping on it. So my eat the elephant task on Tuesday is going to be finish the curtains. So basically, no matter what I do on Tuesday, I've got to finish sewing. So after I do my 15 minutes of chores on Tuesday, that is my only, only focus until I get it finished is to um, finish all of the curtains for the house. Now I have these little blocks in here between the school runs for the little one and the school runs for the big girls because I have about 45 minutes to kill. And I've figured out that Mary Claire really likes to run an errand in between picking up her sisters. So I'm going to start reserving this time right here for post office runs and, you know, runs to go get dog food or rabbit food, things that just really are very fast errands and can get her out of the car a little bit so she's not in the car for too long on those days. On Wednesday, I'm going to film. I have got a laundry list of videos that I'm working on um, that I really have so much content planned. I've just got to have time to film it. So Wednesday, I'm going to film Thursday. I would be filming as well, but I'm going to be headed to the, um, to get, uh, to take Mary Claire. So these are my eat your elephant tasks. So like my one challenge for you this week would be to figure out the one thing that you can do on a particular day that's going to move you forward in whatever is, has got you stuck. So Friday, I won't have any kids either because Mary Claire will be down at my dad's. So I'm going to be able to use this as a work day. So Friday is going to be my editing day. So I'm hoping to get at least two videos edited on Friday. And other than that, pretty much once my kids get home from school, I try to focus solely on them. I'm trying really hard to only spend time working during the hours that my kids aren't home and, and spend time with them when they are home. So Memphis weekend, I've got this weekend where I'm going to Memphis to see a friend for overnight. They um, were super sweet and got some extra pieces to our couch from Ikea for me. And that is where, um, so I'm going to do a quick trip up and up and back there this weekend. So my weekend's kind of shot, but this is where I will list any work tasks that I really need to get done. So after I do my eat your elephant task, the thing that you just have to get done no matter what, after I do that, I would work off of this little list over here of, you know, little tasks that I can get done. And these are my home tasks. I do definitely have some things I need to put on here. Um, like I've got to find the doctor. I've got to find doctors for the girls. I've got to find dentists for the girls and really for the rest of the family. So that's where I'll list those. Okay. Meal planning. So this is where I also do my meal planning. This is just a little sheet that, um, happy planner makes. And it's got your meal, weekly meal plan on one side and space for a grocery list on another. And it's, I just pop it in here so it's, it's right in with everything else. And this is where I'll kind of keep up our weekly meal plan. Now, how we do our meal plan, um, this is a Happy Planner, Judith. Um, and this is the big size Happy Planner. I like the big one, um, which they're actually a little harder to find, but... Okay, so how we do our meal plans is I kind of have theme nights. So I try to do a, a light meat or a meatless on Mondays as much as I can. Um, where did my list go? I actually kind of pre-planned this. There it is. Um, so Monday we're going to do pasta carbonara, which is one of the kids' favorites.
Now, if you, I will, after this live posts, I'll put in the show notes a link to my Pinterest account. And I have a, a board that I've created for these live weekly sessions called Meals Planned for This Week. And it's going to have all of the um, recipes that are pretty close to the ones that I use. So if you want to make the same thing, you can check out those recipes. So Tuesday is going to be um, an enchilada and rice skillet. Tuesday is our Mexican day, Taco Tuesday. Yeah, really original, but this enchilada rice skillet doesn't have meat in it. So I'm, you know, trying to save money there as well. I don't know how to spell, bleh, I don't know how to spell enchilada. N-E-N-C-H-A-L-A-T. Okay, we're just going to spell it Southern. Y'all, I hope you can't hear my dog over there. Maxie, quit. She's licking her feet. All right. So then we're going to have, uh, actually, we are not having this on Monday. Monday, we're having birthday dinner. So that's going to be dinner out. So we'll do pasta carbonara on Wednesday. Thursday, I always have a breakfast for dinner night. And that's another way we help save money is we do breakfast for dinner. So Thursday we'll do um, eggs, bacon, and French toast. And I usually rotate between French toast, um, pancakes, or cinnamon toast, which those are the girls' favorite, or orange rolls. And I just kind of rotate between the two, um, between the four of those. So bacon, eggs, and French toast. And then Friday, let's see, Friday is our family night. So we do a, kind of like a ballpark night. So we either do hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, um, some type of um, kind of like ballpark food, really. It's just we, we pile in the floor and we do a, um, a movie night for the family. So this, uh, this Friday we're going to do pigs in a blanket. And chips and dip. Maxie's quit. Y'all, she's licking her paws and she sounds like she's over there munching. Okay, Saturday we normally do some type of soup on Saturday. And this is a super favorite of ours. That No pun intended, really. Sorry about that. It's a Thai curry noodle soup. And it does have chicken in it, and it's so good. It's a coconut curry noodle soup, and it's really, it, I'll ha I have this recipe on that um, Pinterest board as well, and our kids love it. We love it. It's, it's a very budget-friendly um, soup, and then I usually will make, not necessarily grilled cheese with this soup, but because that wouldn't really go well with this soup i would probably make a side of rice and um the so the kids can have rice and soy sauce but anytime i have another soup i usually will make grilled cheese or something like that to go with it so sundays are is our is our big meat and veggie day and that's going to be today i've got a pack of chicken in the uh, freezer so we'll do chicken and um, couscous and veggies Yes, Todd, she is snorting. That's exactly what she's doing. Um, okay, so this is kind of our meal plan for the week. It's super simple, but this, I kind of keep to a, um, I, I keep to a, a format for, you know, lack of a better word, during the week. So this is an example of a m meal plan that I did for a month. I think this was like the month of, this was the month of June. And I know you can't see this. Let's see if I can get it closer to you. But it is, um, oh, go away. Oh. Please be filming. Yes, there you are. Okay, so I don't really know um, if you can see this very well, but if you can see, like, this was mostly a light meat dish. This was Taco Tuesdays. This uh, Wednesdays were our um, Wednesdays were our breakfast for dinner, and then I had eat out or leftovers one day a week. 
And then Friday was our ballpark nights. Saturday was soup. And then Sundays with our meat and veggies. And I also had a listing for breakfast and lunches, snack. And if this is something y'all are interested in, I'll try to throw this up as a Google Doc. So y'all can have um, access to this planner. But this is how I did our monthly meal plans when I had space to plan meals for a month. And I loved this, but I just don't have space anymore. I have to do it weekly now. Now that the kids are in school, I just kind of, and I have to make their lunches all the time, I pretty much just stick to standard lunch fare. Sometimes I'll do um, cheese quesadillas for lunch, which they love, but for the most part, I stick to sandwiches and all those boring things. So if you have really great ideas about lunches, that would be awesome. So let me see if I can run through the comments real quick and see if I can answer any questions if there are any. Um, okay, so the only question I had was from Judith, which was, what planner is that? And that's a happy planner. So, okay, does anybody have any questions about how I, how I'm, you know, kind of formatting this? I just kind of want to have a time where we can plan our week and go through I'll be glad like I'm gonna set this meal plan up for you every single week and have it on my Pinterest page now I don't have you know recipes for pigs in a blanket that's kind of just you know generally just use the um oh y'all I can't even think anyway you know it's the little bitty hot dogs with with crescent rolls on the outside so but I have all these other recipes on here the Thai curry needle soup the pasta carbonara and the chicken enchilada. And we also did our dinner tonight, which was a, um, um, it was a ha homemade cheeseburger, um, uh, cheeseburger macaroni, kind of like homemade hamburger helper. And it was a huge hit with the kids. I mean, they, they loved it. So I left that recipe up there on that board for you to find. Um, that way y'all can, and it makes enough, it made enough to feel our, feed our family of six twice, um, over. We can, we can totally eat it for another whole dinner one night this week. Okay. That's it, everybody. Um, do you grocery shop once a week? Yes, I do grocery shop once a week. And, um, yes, you're right. Meal planning does save, uh, save a lot of unnecessary shopping. I used to grocery shop once a month. And then do a mid mid month grocery for just like milk and eggs and bread and things like that. But now that we're in the RV and we have a much smaller refrigerator, I have to shop once a week. And I'm actually finding that I'm saving more money that way. I'm having less food waste, and I am cooking through my pantry better. For example, this enchilada rice skillet was something I had planned for this week and I and we ended up eating pizza one night this week. So that was one that I had planned la th this last week. Hang on one second. Oh, oh sorry, just trying to get this. All right, this was our um, meal plan for this past week, if you can see it. Um, it was a Korean beef, um, it was a bulgogi recipe from Pinterest and it was awesome. It was a um, super fast and easy recipe and the kids loved it. And then soft tacos, cheeseburger mac and noodles. That's the one where we had pizza. So that's what we had tonight. Bacon, bean and potato soup. That was good. Um, hot dogs and fries. That was our ballpark night. Chicken, couscous and veggies. That's where that got pulled over and then bacon, eggs and pancakes. So I just try to stick to this. It keeps our meat light which keeps our grocery budget a little bit lighter as well but like i said i have four kids i don't get super super inventive in the kitchen anymore can you say hi hi emily m <laughs> um uh oh ball jars for dry storage yeah that's awesome i um would love to do that but we're in the RV right now, so I don't have a whole lot of space for, for dry food storage right now. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to kind of fill out which videos I'm filming in these small spaces, give myself a little bit of little bit more detail on my work and my home, and try to figure out which errands, if any, I need to run in these two spots for this week. But that's how I'm gonna try to structure my week this week. Um, there were a couple things I wanted to leave you with. 
ask yourself these questions. Um, and I want you to kind of write some answers down because I was really surprised by my answers to this. Ask yourself the question, what makes you more productive in your week? Like what things can you do to make you pro more productive? One of mine was work outside the house, which that's not always feasible for me, but sometimes it is on days that I edit, I can work outside the house. And then one of the other ones was getting dressed all the way down to shoes that tie that way I don't feel like I need to it also it helps my back it helps my legs feel better and it also helps me not be quite so lazy during the day and yes I'm calling myself lazy at times and there's nothing wrong with a mama being lazy occasionally and the other thing I want you to ask yourself is what makes you feel better about yourself so one of the things that we're gonna start focusing on is mental health and you know and your finances and how how a more positive self-image can help with your finances so what are some things that make you feel better about yourself in a day and i know for me is if i can get makeup on in the mornings and have my tea and with my bible in the mornings which hasn't happened regularly and i cannot tell you how long that makes me feel so much better in a day so i'm going to be working on trying to get um trying to get those things out uh, what's happening with the giveaway? I am working on making all of the envelopes right now, and I should be starting to ship information out. I mean, starting to ship first prize packages out this week. So other than that, that's it guys. So ask yourself those questions. What makes you more productive and what makes you feel better about yourself? Uh, because I find that if I can do some of those things that make me more productive and I can do a couple of those things that make me for, feel better about myself, they do help me be more productive. That's it. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.